President, I think the Congressman did a great job of telling how much it means to have you here. Uh, a couple hours ago, I was pounding some nails uh, with Milo in her new house and her uh, brother John, and uh, we were putting these white, this white siding on the house. And we thought, isn't it ironic that we have a president in the Hatharniko village, but it's Milo who's living in the White House? <laughs> You have to remember the story that is important, which is that this was a very, very difficult place to be. You've heard all the details of the stories. We don't need to go over too much about it, except to say that the key issue here is that if you were a person who had a house, and you thought about whether you were going to put some paint on that, or whether you're going to fix the steps, or whether you're going to stay, you looked out the window. When you looked out the window, you saw a neighbor, and you probably saw that they weren't making those investments that you were about to make. It made you think a little bit. Should I make that investment? Maybe I should. Maybe I'll not get that back from the house. Even worse, it might mean, you know what, I don't think I can stay here. And so what happens with housing in the neighborhoods, it's not about one house, it's a community, and you have to look out the window and you have to see that somebody next to you and somebody across from you has confidence in their house, and if they don't, that neighborhood goes down and down and down. Now think about something else. Now think about Monday morning. Neighbors in this neighborhood look across the street. And what will they see? And they'll see all of this work that's been done, but they'll recognize this is not about one day, this is not about one week, this is about the fact that the Hawthorne Eco Village has finally pushed a huge boulder up a hill, and we're at the top of the hill, and that boulder is moving in the right direction. We've got a lot of momentum behind us, but we are not done. There's been a huge investment here that starts with phenomenal neighbors. A guy named Peter Teachout, who uh, went out there when there were people dealing drugs and doing some pretty rotten things, and he put his life on the line to make sure that he helped chase crime out of this neighborhood. Peter's not here right now because he's in the military. He thought with all he'd put up with, he'd take an easy job, which is really nice right? Peter Teachout is a hero. Uh, Valeria down the street is an elderly Russian woman. You will see her garden out there. She is amazing. She stayed and she put a mark in this neighborhood. You go with one story after the other after the other. The tough, tough, tough work that has been done to get to this point. You also saw people coming together from lots of places. Among the multiple heroes in this room, one who really should be, be called out is Tom Fulton. When I turn to Tom Fulton, who leads the Family Housing Fund. Tom, could you stand up, please? began looking at the devastation of this. He was in my office and we stopped and said, what is our plan here? How do we do this? Well, you know what? We can't win back every single block in North Minneapolis at once. What we're going to have to do is to really make a stand and really invest in these cluster developments and really get going. So we had this private partner funded by McKnight, thank you. And what was amazing about that is that one by one, all these things came together. These amazing neighborhood neighbors doing work, People like Tom, people like PPL, and just amazing stories. And people kept putting in and putting in. Now we've come a long way. And the Home Depot Foundation put in a half a million dollars to make sure that this wasn't just affordable housing, it was sustainable and on the cutting edge of green technology. When you see that house down here at the corner and you see that it's lead platinum, a person in this neighborhood deserves to be on the cutting edge of clean energy just as well as any other neighborhood in the United States. today and as great as it is they have the tent and all these wonderful important people here today please stick with us we are not done in this neighborhood we need your help so we're going to keep coming back to you we're going to ask you to work here and volunteer here we're going to ask you to move here because one of the best houses in this whole neighborhood is not the, any of the ones that have the public money you get on that block about four lots right there and there's a house somebody just bought no government program no nothing they had the confidence that because of all this going around, it made sense to move into this neighborhood. More neighbors like that will make sure that we have a sustainable, long-term strategy here. So I am almost speechless, but of course not quite. <laughs> but I 
I am deeply, deeply moved by what I see in this area, but I hope we come back year after year after year, and after we've done some work, all of us go up and sit on the Jimmy Carter bench and remember what this day meant to us. Thank you.